All right, guys. So we just finished up the structure and function of the eye. You guys did really well on that. And um, what we ended up with is this signal is now being sent down the axons of the ganglion cells, which make up the optic nerve. So now we're just going to analyze how this signal is sent down the optic nerve and where in the brain this is being processed at. Okay. So I just took a transverse uh, lateral cut of the brain and the eyes here. And we're just going to kind of follow um, this signal. So each eye has a left and a right visual field. And first thing to note here is that the left visual field for each eye is going to be projected to the right side of the retina. And similarly, the right visual field will be projected to the left side of the retina. And that will eventually be processed on the left uh, hemisphere, the left visual cortex of the occipital lobe. So, um, and all, everything else from the left visual field will be processed on the right hemisphere, the right visual cortex of, of the occipital lobe. So first distinction to make there, very important. Uh, secondly, so vocabulary on the MCAT, they will expect you to know these terms. So the nasal fibers um, are referring to the side of the retina, the fibers that come out of the retina, which are closest to the nose. And the temporal fibers are going to be closest to the temple. So know that distinction. Okay, so now we have our right and our left optic nerves. And other thing to note here is that the nasal fibers are going to cross at a place called the optic chiasm. And, but the temporal fibers will not. They stay independent. And so everything that's um, on the left side of the retina will be processed uh, at the left visual cortex. And similarly, the right side of the retina will be processed at the right visual cortex for, or from the temporal sides. Um, cool. So then if we follow it down here, we have the LGN, which stands for the lateral geniculate nucleus, uh, which goes through some further processing. And then eventually we, it comes out of it a, a, a left and a right optic tract, which then leads to the left visual cortex and the right visual cortex, respectively. So uh, let's, let's look at some scenarios here, like they would in the medical field. They usually refer to your vision out of your right and left eye as if you're looking through two circles. So this would be the left and right visual fields for your left eye. This would be the left and right visual field for your right eye. Okay, so let's think if we had, you know, an MCAT question, and they're going to try to confuse you. They're going to really try to confuse you with different visual, right and left visual field, right and left optic nerves, right and left sides of the, of the brain. So just make sure you read carefully the, the wording in each question. But let's say, for example, we cut the left optic tract. Um, how would that affect our vision in the, let's see here, how would that affect our vision in the, in the left visual field of the left eye? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. So let, let, let's make this easier here. If you think of the left optic tract coming to the left visual cortex, what should you automatically be thinking right now? The right visual field. Good. The right visual field. So let's just go ahead and darken that out on both. Instead of trying to follow the anatomy on each way, just know that everything that's processed in the left hemisphere is going to come from the right visual field. So we would lose, if we were to cut the left optic tract in half, we would lose vision in the right uh, visual field of each eye. Okay, let's then think if we had, um, if we were to cut the left optic nerve in half, um, how would that affect our right eye? Exactly, you would still see it out of the right eye. How about the left eye? How about from either the left or the right side? No, it wouldn't, right? Because you see here you have a left and a right visual field, but if you cut that whole nerve in half, then you lose sight in both, in both fields there. Okay, and then one last one. If we had, if we were to cut the nasal fibers, so the fibers that cross at the optic chiasm, if we were to cut both of those, how would our vision be affected? Um, 
And I think easiest to look at would just be, you know that the nasal fibers are going to, are going to uh, be sent signals from the temporal side of vision or the far side of the field. So nasal fiber for the left eye is going to be the left visual field because that's the temporal side over there. So that would be eliminated. And then similarly, the nasal fiber for the right eye is going to be um, projecting the right visual field. So that would be eliminated. So if we were to cut the fibers that, that cross the optic chiasm, we would not be able to see anything temporally, anything on the outside, but just rather what's, what's in, the, in the middle there. So, um, Okay, and again, just I want you guys to really make sure you be careful with terminology on these questions because they will try to trick you. Uh, what, if I, what if I give you one more scenario where um, you're at the optometrist and you know, he makes you cover up your left eye, so you're just seeing out of the right eye. And so if, you, if you're looking at an image out of just your right eye, what side of the brain would that be processed on? The left visual cortex. Ooh, careful. I want to trick you there, and you fell for it. So it's not because, think about it, you have a left and a right visual field, right, for your right eye. So you're going to have the, you know, the left visual field uh, will be processed on the right side of the brain. Uh, or sorry, the, the right visual field will be processed on the left side of the brain, like you said, but the left visual field will be processed on the right side of the brain. So it will be processed in both hemispheres. So that's an example of a trick question they, that they might ask you in a standalone or a passage-based question. Um, so again, just be careful with terminology on that. Um, any questions on that, on the processes here, the visual pathways, and or any anatomy? You guys good? Sweet.